Yo guys, welcome to Ashton Fitness. Today I'm going to tell you what your first major goal should be if you're new to calisthenics and want to progress onto more advanced calisthenics skills like the front lever, bent arm planche and muscle up. When you're new to calisthenics, it can be difficult to know how to progress from the basics such as push-ups, pull-ups and dips to more advanced calisthenics skills. So in this video, I'll explain exactly what you should do to build the strength needed to begin your journey to learning the calisthenic skills you've always dreamed of doing. If you enjoyed the video, then remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any videos like this one in the future. And if you really enjoy it, then share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever your favorite social media platform is so that they can learn how to progress with their calisthenics training too. Your first major goal as a calisthenics beginner should be to do 10 push-ups, 10 pull-ups, and 10 dips easily. The key word here is easily, because there's a big difference between being able to do 10 struggling pull-ups and 10 easy pull-ups. Why should this be your first major goal if you're new to calisthenics? It should be your first major goal because this is the gateway that will give you the foundational strength you need to progress onto more advanced calisthenics skills. Most advanced calisthenic skills have their roots in these three basic movements, so you need to master them before you can move on to more difficult skills. For example, the front lever requires a tremendous amount of upper back and lat strength to pull off. One of the key ways to build the upper back and lat strength needed to hold the front lever when you're a beginner is to do pull-ups. Once you can do 10 pull-ups easily, you should then be able to progress onto beginner front lever progressions, such as the tucked front lever, pull-up rows and tucked ice cream makers. It would be very difficult for you to progress onto these front lever progressions without first easily being able to do 10 pull-ups. So that's why it's essential that you build your back strength with pull-ups to make it easier to move onto these progressions. Likewise, the bent arm planche requires a great deal of chest and shoulder strength to achieve. One of the key ways to develop the chest and shoulder strength needed to hold the bent arm planche when you're a beginner is to do push-ups and dips. Once you can do 10 push-ups and 10 dips easily, you should then be able to progress onto beginner bent arm planche progressions, such as diamond push-ups, pseudo planche push-ups, and tucked bent arm planche swings. Again, it would be incredibly difficult for you to progress onto these bent arm planche progressions without first easily being able to do 10 push-ups and 10 dips. So that's why it's crucial that you build up your chest and shoulder strength with push-ups and dips to make it easier to move on to more advanced calisthenics skills. So, now you know why your first goal should be to do 10 push-ups, 10 pull-ups and 10 dips easily. But how can you tell if you're doing them easily or not? Well, here's a test you can use the next time you train to see if you can do 10 push-ups, 10 pull-ups and 10 dips easily. The next time you train, try to do 10 pull-ups in a row. If you get to the 10th rep and feel like you could do another 2 reps fairly easily, then that means you can do 10 pull-ups easily. On the other hand, if you try to do 10 pull-ups but struggle even a little bit to get to the 10th rep, then you can't do 10 pull-ups easily. If this is the case, then you need to work on your pull-ups until you can do 10 easily. You can also use this test for push-ups and dips to see if you can do 10 reps of them easily. If you can do 10 reps of all three of these fundamental calisthenics exercises easily, then you're strong enough to move on to harder variations of these exercises as well as specific progressions for calisthenics skills like the front lever, planche and muscle up. However, if you can't do 10 push-ups, pull-ups and dips easily, then you need to strengthen them before you think about moving on. Out of these three exercises, most people tend to struggle the most with pull-ups, so I've made a few videos about how you can increase your pull-up reps which you can find in the description of this video. I've also made a really useful video about how you can increase your reps with all three of these exercises, so definitely check that one out if you can't do 10 pull-ups, push-ups or dips yet. Alongside reaching your goal of 10 pull-ups, push-ups and dips, it's also very important that you strengthen your core and legs. A strong core is essential for almost every single calisthenics skill, so it's crucial that you strengthen both your abs and lower back to prepare yourself for more advanced calisthenics skills later on down the line. Additionally, it's important to strengthen your lower body because it plays a role in helping you to hold calisthenics skills too. Skills like the front lever, 
back lever and bent arm planche actually become easier to hold when you engage your glutes. So it's a good idea to strengthen these areas to help you hold these impressive skills with greater ease. Strengthening your legs will also allow you to learn more advanced calisthenics leg exercises like pistol squats and help you become a more well-rounded calisthenics athlete. I've made a bunch of ab and leg workout videos on my channel, so if you want to strengthen your abs and legs, then definitely check them out. I've included links to a few of them in the description of this video, and you can find the rest under the videos tab on my channel. Now, I know that was a lot of information to digest at once, so let's summarize everything in three easy steps. One. If you want to learn more advanced calisthenics skills, your first goal as a calisthenics beginner should be to do 10 pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 10 dips easily. Two, once you can do this, move on to harder variations of these exercises and begin practicing specific progressions for calisthenics skills. Three, eventually, by practicing these progressions, you'll be able to unlock the calisthenics skills you've always dreamed of. To get from step one to step three takes a lot of time, patience, and dedication but it's definitely possible. And I know this from experience because I followed these exact steps when I first started calisthenics to help me learn all of my advanced skills. If you stay consistent, train smart, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for extra calisthenics tips along your journey, shameless plug, you'll get to where you want to in no time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then let me know in the comments below and give it a thumbs up. This has been Ashton with Ashton Fitness. Now go do those pull-ups, push-ups, and dips.